That's what she said. <laughs> Ooh. I'll play with you. Shh. Okay, let me finish that this video. Wrong. It should be pretty quick. Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 owners how to manually update to Jelly Bean Android 4.1.1 on your device. So first of all, you need to double check a few things. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about device, and make sure uh, baseband version says LI3, the last three digits, and build number says LI3 at the end as well. So just make sure you double check and have that because you need to be on this previous version to manually update. If you are rooted and you are on LI3, you should be able to manually update, but you might need to reroute. You can just watch my reroute video, but you need to get stock recovery back. So if you're rooted, click on the link in the description of the video on how to uh, install stock recovery because you need to install stock recovery again. So if you're rooted, install stock recovery and then you can come back and follow this video. Otherwise, this is for anyone that is completely stock and has stock recovery. So now once you have double checked, make sure you're on LI3, you're gonna click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to QBKing77.com download that uh, update zip file that I linked to on my website. It's uh, not a, it's a pretty big file, so it, to give it some time to download. Once it downloads, transfer it over to your external SD card. You need to have a micro SD card to manually update. So if you don't, uh, you might want to go invest in one because you're out of luck. You can't manually update if you don't have an external SD card. So you, when you go to my files, external SD, when you transfer that zip file over, it should say, this it should look like this don't rename it just make sure uh, the zip file transfers over to your external sd card and looks like this li3 to lj7.zip and also this update is not going to wipe any data so you don't need to worry about that i have rearranged icons on the home screen so to show you that uh, those don't get rearranged and they stay the same so once you have that zip file transferred over to your external sd card and you have stock recovery or you are completely stocked you can just power off your device so now we are going to let it power off all right, once the phone is fully powered off, what we're gonna need to do is get into that stock recovery. To do so, press and hold volume up, the home button and power button, all at the same time, press and hold all three of them and keep it held down and once a Samsung screen lights up, let go. So let go once that first Samsung screen lights up and then it will reboot us into our stock recovery. And there we go. So here it is, this is the stock recovery. We can go ahead and take a look at it. Let me hold this a little bit closer. And here we go. So you'll see Android system recovery up at the top. All we have to do is go ahead and use the volume uh, arrows, uh, the volume rockers to navigate. Press volume down once till it highlights apply update from external storage. Press the power button to select it. And then you will see that update zip file that we have that LI3 to LJ7 zip. Just navigate down with the volume rockers and press the power button to select it. And what that's going to do is go ahead and open the update file and manually update to Jelly Bean. Uh, it will take a bit of time. The file size is large as it is an OS upgrade. So go ahead and be patient with this install process. If it does fail, um, you, some troubleshooting steps would be to re-download the file and then retransfer it over. That would be one of the main ones. You can also try and you might wanna double check and make sure you are on, are on LI3. But as I said, this will take a while. You will see a progress bar, so be patient with it. I'll be back once it is done. Also, I did want to make a quick note that this is the exact same process that will occur if you do uh, wait for the over-the-air update. This is the exact over-the-air update that we are applying. So if you don't want to wait for that over-the-air update, go ahead and follow this manually update video because it will be the exact same as if you waited for the over-the-air update. All right, so you'll see it says install from SD card complete, applying update complete, rebooting. It's gonna automatically reboot your device. That did take a bit of time, probably almost five minutes. So as I said, the file size is large, so the install process is gonna take a bit of time. So what I'm gonna let this do is boot up. This boot up could potentially take a little bit longer than usual, so just kind of be a little bit patient with this first boot up. This would be the boot animation. I believe it's a newer boot animation. I don't recall that Samsung being there uh, on ice cream sam on sorry yeah an ice cream sandwich so we will see now we got the stock sprint boot animation but let it boot up I will be back alright so it's booting up you'll see Android is upgrading this could take a while depending on how many applications you do have installed on your device I only have 87 which should be lower than pretty much everyone because this is completely um, factory reset before I did follow this process but now it should start on up and then once it boots up, it should say finalizing Android update. Go ahead and let that run through its process as well. There we go. So it says swipe across the screen to unlock. 
hit OK. I believe that's only showing up because I didn't uh, minimize it before. So you'll see no data was wiped uh, right there. Uh, also, what you'll notice is on the lock screen, you have four options. Um, you can actually add another one. So be sure to go into those lock screen settings. I'll show you where those are in just a second um, and add another one because you can have five now. That's just a new little feature. So no data was wiped at all. I'm going to be doing a full review video of this just to go over uh, things with the new Jelly Bean update, what you can expect, what you can try out, all the different features and such. But we can go to About Device and Android version 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. It is version LJ7 right there. So quickly tap on Android version. You got Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, press and hold on the guy, and you got some Jelly Beans floating around. So that is it. First uh, U.S. variant to get Jelly Bean. Nice work, Sprint and Samsung. Um, I've actually ran this build for a little while now. We did get a leak earlier, and it seems to work great. Battery life seems great. Everything seems to be working just fine. So definitely, and here's those lock screen settings under personal. You just go to lock screen options, tap on shortcuts, and you can add another one right there just for you for a quick note. But yeah, I'll check out that review video. I'll link to it in the description. It will come in a little bit. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Hopefully this worked for you. Be sure to leave a comment. Subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.